Collecting bodies in the town of Bor in Jongole State is going to be a grim task. South Sudan's army officials say these men defected and joined the rebels. Al Jazeera cannot independently verify this. Civilians are also among the dead. Some of the bodies are starting to decompose. The killings happened during days of fighting between government troops and rebels loyal to the former vice president, Riyak Mashar. Officials say Mashar tried to topple President Salva Kiir. He is now on the run with other rebels like Peter Gadet. They are moving together and heading towards Slaunwer. They have collected all the cars that were here, the government cars, the cars of the NGOs, the cars of uh, oil, of ASCOM, uh, oil limited, uh, I mean suit limited, almost over 100 uh, cars and uh, small cars and trucks, they have moved uh, with them. And uh, Gadet is, uh, is moving together with Dr. Riyang Mashar. Mashar denies such allegations made by the government. People here have experienced violence before. In 1991, a power struggle between South Sudan's founding father, the late John Garang, and Riyak Mashar destabilized the community. Government forces recaptured war from the rebels on Tuesday. It's now relatively quiet. People are taking advantage of the apparent calm. They're going to their houses to try and salvage whatever they can. Then they head back to the UN base for safety, even if it means walking past dead bodies. The UN base is still packed with thousands of people foreigners and locals who are not sure if it's safe to leave. Right now, the, the road is not okay. We are just waiting for the security. The bullets were coming down like rain. People raided the houses and stole everything. The bank was looted, dead bodies all over the street. More UN troops are coming to South Sudan. People here hope they arrive soon and that the violence ends. Then the focus could shift to counting the number of dead people and investigating alleged acts of crimes against humanity from both sides. Haramutasa Al Jazeera, Bo, South Sudan.